welcome back from Hernando High. My name is JB Dill and I am the proud sponsor of the Future Teacher Academy here at Hernando High. We'd like to show you how we affect the community and those around us. Let's take a look. Here inside our FTA class, we prepare ourselves to learn on how to be influential leaders and teachers. We make sure to learn everything there is to know about what it really takes to be a good role model to students before we go out into the field of teaching. Our wonderful teacher, J.B. Dill, who has shaped this amazing program into what it is today, has enhanced our skills to make sure that we are ready to go out and make an impact as future teachers. As an educator, I was really excited about the program, mostly because um, I feel like this is a profession that we need to kind of get in early with, with students. And it's, uh, it was really exciting seeing how many kids were in the, in the program, how excited they were to go over to BES and help those kids. Um, it's just a real positive experience for, for all the stakeholders involved, uh, the teachers, the students, uh, the teachers and students at BES. It's just a, a real positive experience for everybody. Oh wow, they have had an amazing impact here at Brooksville Elementary. Last year, I had wonderful high schoolers work in with third graders. They were third graders who were identified as being like what we call cusp kids, meaning that they could either make a two or a three, depending on how much effort they put in. And so those high, high schoolers worked with them for months and months and months to get them where they needed to be. So prior to our, F, our FSA scores coming in, the students took their iReady AP3. So if they passed that with at least a score of 535, then it didn't matter what they made on their FSA. So all, which was about 14 students, passed, only one did not. But then when they were given another test before June when we got out of school, they passed that. So all 14 of them were able to move on to fourth grade. So I thought that was huge. That was really big. So that's one of the many ways. So as an administrator, I get to see a bunch of potential future educators that are, you know, getting excited about teaching. But then I got the added benefit is my uh, my daughter is actually one of the students that uh, gets helped over there. And uh, she's so excited every day to tell me, you know, that these high school teachers came over to, to help her out in class. And she talks about her, uh, the students that come there, you know, every day and, you know, how, how they help her out. And she's excited about it. So I get to see how... Um, the excitement and energy that these new upcoming teachers get to bring to our elementary students as they get excited about, you know, learning about education. Um, I would say it's made an amazing difference here at Brooks Elementary. Um, for example, like having the homecoming parade, when those students saw their teachers walking in the parade or even sitting on a float or walking in the band like it was a great opportunity for them to see what the future holds and so you know um, some of these kids don't always have those positive role models um, with them at home and so now we have those positive role models here at Brooks Elementary several times a week and so now they have built those relationships and bonds with some students who I think will help them make it through to high school and hopefully they'll come back and they'll do it too. I love it, especially when I see former students who were here at Brooksville Elementary coming back to share their love of school and learning with the kids. When the kids see them walk through the door, they're like, pick me, pick me, I want to go with you and work with you. So you can really see that not only is it helpful to me as a teacher to have extra hands in the class helping out, it's also helpful to the kids because they really love seeing them and they're great to look at and say, hey, I want to be like them one day and come back to school and help out at Brooksville Elementary. Um, so those are the two quick things that come to mind at how I like having them in my class. So HHS students really add a layer of support to the students that are working um, with the elementary. They work with bottom quartile students, they work with cusp students, sometimes working academically and really approaching things from a social emotional standpoint sometimes and so that impact is all something that really affects our students. How do you like having the big kids in your classes at BES? It's great, they help me be a super reader. 